Yo, this weather is insane, but I would totally play like, I don't know, the dark zone or even just open world activities with this weather. You know, if we could permanently set the weather to be like this, it would be amazing. Like, look at this. It is crazy fun. It changes the entire immersion of the game. Like, your visibility is really low. All of the, you know, uh, all of your textures are wet. Like, look at my jacket. It looks really cool. I don't know. I really do in light, uh, enjoy the, you know, weather aspects of this game. I just wish you could, like, toggle them. Like, I want those, like, all the time. You know what I mean? Anyways, all right. Let's jump into it. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give you my status effects monster build without Eclipse Protocol. That's right. This is a status effects build through and through. And it is amazing in PvE and super toxic in PvP. Now I'm going to show you gameplay of both, but I'm not going to glorify this build in PvP. We all know it's a toxic build. Status effects builds in PvP are super toxic. I'll show you one game and one game only, and then we'll do some PvE content. That way you can see how amazing it is in PvE. And, I mean, it is strong in PvP, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you want to sit back and let your skills do the talking for you, you're more than welcome to. It would be amazing. But um, in PvE, this thing shines. You could do this in Legendary, anything like that. I mean, I cakewalk a heroic mission solo with this build. Cakewalk. And I'll show you all that right now. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And enjoy the gameplay. Let's, uh, let's see what you think in the comment section below. But without further ado, roll that footage. And here we go, Lincoln Memorial Heroic, your PvE gameplay. Now let's get it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more Division content. And here we go. Wish me luck. maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Easy enough. Go, 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 go. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Creeping death off of that one. Immediate medical assistance needed. There we go. Keep it going. That melee got me scared there for a second. All right, come on. And get a good sticky right here. Boom. And get a good fire right here. There we go. Serious trauma detected. Need to heal up. Go, go. Crap, they got one. And two, one, boom. Got him. All right. And last guy, the heavy. Got it. I repeat, 
All right. Let's keep it going. Can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. And it's only going to get stronger once you get the specialization ammo because this flamethrower is unbelievable. Now, I'm not going to get any of the loot or anything like that. We'll try to just go through it as quick as possible. That way we're not here all day. <clears throat> all right, here we go. And pop. There we go. Put this here. And we're just going to go ahead and skip ahead to this point just because I, you don't have to watch the entire mission. I mean, I showed you what the first, I don't know, five minutes or so, and then I'll show you the last five minutes. Nothing crazy. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. And we are on the boss. Like two hits and that boss was kicking my ass. There we go. And last but not least. That's it. It's that easy. Good work. Go on ahead back and there you have it. The team from the so there is the your status effects board. build without Eclipse Protocol in both That's PvP so and I PvE. So I hope you enjoyed it. This was a really quick run. You can use this in any game mode you want. Um, you can even use this in Legendary if you want. It's a great crowd control build, and you can use it with the jammer pulse to help out as well. But here we are. So at the end of Lincoln Memorial, it took me seven and a half minutes. Holy crap. That was fast. With a skill build, nevertheless. Let's go. Game over. All right. Let's go to the build breakdown. Let's go. All right, we are going to do one game of PvP with this because, let's be real, this is a toxic build for PvP. Um, I think in the comments I was usually asked about this for PvE, but I did have a few people that wanted this for PvP. So I'm going to show you the PvP version in this one game, and then we'll go over to PvE, just to give you a little taste. The I'm not sure if I'm going to go 10-0 and 0 or 0-10, and 10, but we're still going to try it out. Here we go. I don't want to cut this video footage. I want to keep it live just because I don't know if we're about to mercy them or get mercied or what have you. So let's play it by ear and see how it goes. Rogue, explosive seeker mine detected. Explosive seekers. Hostile, explosive seeker mine detected. Uh, one up top. There he is. All right, creeping death got him. And then you can see the numbers right here. Got him. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, he got me from far away. Oh, get that pickup. I've got the sticky. Oh, man. Nice. Shout out to Lonely 10K. Thank you, sir. Oh, no, behind you, bro. Oh, man. All right, all right. Not bad for the very first engagement. Oh, it didn't even give me that kill. They must have picked him up. Oh, man, all right. I'll make sure to finish my kills. Okay. They still have one guy down. Oh, he got me while I was throwing the hive. Ah, oh, damn. I got the other guy, though. I confirmed that kill. <laughs> All right. 
Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, got the kill from the hive. You can just see how deadly these status effects are. Alright, there we go. Another easy kill. But you can see how this could easily just also become toxic. I mean, boost now active. The boost is being taken by the enemy. The boost has been taken by the enemy. Rogue explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Ooh, Sticky still got him. Damn. That's crazy. Sticky bomb still got him. I like it. Pretty sure they're going to try to come up from behind. Oop, they just jammed. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Let me get my shit back. Three seconds. Come on. Oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I don't care. I killed you, buddy. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, skills are fun, but I'd prefer uh, gunplay, to be honest. But you can see, I mean, it's super easy to get a kill. Um, but at the same time, obviously, you're squishy because you're a skill build. So your bullets are not doing that much damage. You have to rely on your skills, which is fine. Um, I know a lot of people that prefer to play this way. I mean, I'm already top of the leaderboard and MVP of the game right now with 1,100 points just from using this skill build. And, I mean, we're losing the game. But it is what it is, showing you what the skill build does. Ooh, snap. I didn't... Dude. This guy led him straight to us. Damn. Next time, uh, <laughs> next time I'll ask him what he's running from. <laughs> I just thought he was trying to regroup. I didn't know he was running from them. But all right. Oh, they're gonna mercy us. Oh snap. How sad is it gonna be when I get MVP and we get uh, we lose? Oh, who the hell? Where was that coming from? Oh. Because they're right in our spawn. Okay. Let's go up top. Come on. Game's not over yet. If we can get one team wipe, we're right back in it. The They're in the alleyway. Uh, they're going straight for me. All right. GG's. All right, so we ended that game 5 and 6 with 18 million damage. Um, and I'm going to get an MVP for the game, but we still lost. But I wanted to show you what the skill build's like. So I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's jump over to the PvE gameplay. And we're back. We are back. Oh. <laughs> now, the PvP footage, like I said, I didn't want to glorify this build in PvP. We all know it's toxic, so I wanted to try to, you know, give you a normal, you know, match of PvP. 
where you're just running and gunning with skills. And I mean, I, I still got MVP and I was still getting kills, but you know, it's just, it, it doesn't feel right. You feel dirty using it in PVP, even though I know there's a lot of people that love using this in PVP. But all right. So without further ado, it is time for your build breakdown. Here we go. Now, starting off at the top, we are using the Firewall Specialization. Now, the reason being is that it extends your burn duration. Now, our primary skill for this build is going to be the burn sticky. Whenever you are starting an engagement, like you saw in both PvP and PvE, I would always lead with the burn sticky because once you get that creeping death, the proc, they are all taking that burn damage and they will all die. It doesn't matter if they're players, doesn't matter if they're NPCs. I mean, hell, you even saw me kill super tanky players in PvP over time just because of how much burn duration this actually has. It's ridiculous how strong status effects are in both PvE and PvP. However, I do want to keep giving you that disclaimer that it is super toxic to use this in PvP. Now, my second skill that I use kind of just like as a backup is going to be your Stinger Hive. Reason being is it does explosive damage and bleed damage at the same time. So you get that up in status effects to help out that bleed damage and duration, but then you also have that initial base damage from the explosions from the hive themselves, and it makes this thing perfect. Not only that, but I started to expertise level this thing up, and it levels up the damage. Come on, people. It levels up the damage. It's just going to get even stronger from here on out. And same thing for the Burn Sticky, just in case you were wondering. If you get the expertise level up on the Burn Sticky, it increases the burn damage. I mean, this is ridiculously strong. Anyways, going to the weapons. I am using the Scorpio for my primary, um, uh, especially for PvE. Now, for PvP, it's a little different because I could pop shot them with a test subject and get the perfectly in sync to proc. And that's what I did in that gameplay is I would do a couple pop shots with the uh, you know test subject here, throw out that sticky bomb, all of a sudden I have perfectly in sync active, and then I throw out that hive and just watch it just mop people up. It's amazing. But for PvE, I love to run and gun with the Scorpio. That is Bay. Now for the sidearm, I have the TDI card custom, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, this one has in sync on it, and with that plus one skill tier, you could change one of these cores to like a blue or a red if you wanted to. Now looking at the build itself, I have 726k armor because I have nothing specced into armor or damage. This is a pure skill build through and through. I'm going to put it on the thumbnail, skill build, because that's what this is. This is a skill build. Now looking at it overall, we are using three pieces of Empress International. One piece of China Light for that explosive damage. One piece of Wyvern Wear with Creeping Death for that uh, Burn Sticky. And then the Vile Mask because everything we do status effects wise is going to help this Vile Mask even more with that damage over time debuff. Now speaking of which, let's talk about it. So here's the Vile Mask. Now this mask comes with a skill tier, status effects, and hazard protection. Now I throw in here a max skill haste mod but it's all about that talent toxic delivery. So status effects will now apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Now this damage over time debuff will give you the total damage dealt equal to 50% of your concussion grenade and it's increased by how much status effects is on your build. Now for me personally, I went with the explosive damage from the China Light to help out my Stinger Hive even more. Remember, the Stinger Hive has explosive damage from the Hive itself. So what I wanted to do was increase that damage from the Hive, so I used China Light. But if you want to go even further into status effects, you could easily just throw on another Wyvern Wear or maybe a Golem Gear. But again, I threw the China Light on there for the explosive damage. Now remember that you get explosive damage from that Stinger Hive, and then that initial boom from the Sticky Bomb is also explosive damage as well. Now, um, looking at the backpack, I'm using the Wyvern Wear backpack. Now, the Wyvern Wear brand set bonus I get from this build, 10% skill damage. Now, it comes with that skill tier, and I have status effects and skill damage on this as well, maxed out with a skill haste mod. 
Now, Creeping Death is the talent we want to use here because whenever we start each engagement, we shoot that sticky bomb, it spreads with the Creeping Death, and then everything dies. Pretty damn simple. Now, Creeping Death on paper, it says when you apply a status effect, it will also be applied to all enemies within 8 meters of your target. And you can do that every 15 seconds. Now, the cool thing is, is whenever you lose your armor with the firewall specialization, it burns an enemy nearby in PvE. Now, if you do that with Creeping Death, it will proc, so just be careful with that. Now, I have three pieces of Empress International, starting with the chess piece. Now, the Empress International brand set bonuses we get from this build 10% skill health, which is fine, skill damage, which we want, but then that skill efficiency. Now, that is money. You get skill damage, skill haste, you get, uh, I mean, what, you get status effects, you, you get the whole shebang. And it really does help out the build immensely. Now, as far as the attributes, we have a skill tier, status effects, and then we have skill haste right here. We could put more skill damage on there, and then we have a skill haste mod. But I wanted to get the sticky bomb down. And right now it's at 16 seconds, but we're trying to work it down to uh, 15 seconds. That way we can have a strong sticky bomb that does all those status effects and has enough damage to kill everything. I mean, clearly from the gameplay, you can see this thing. <laughs> Killing is easy. Now looking at the gloves, uh, skill haste, skill damage. Looking at the knee pad, skill haste, skill damage. Now for the China Light, we wanted skill damage and status effects. I'm trying to put that up a little bit higher with the explosive damage, and there you go. This is an overall great skill build. It has great explosive damage and status effects to it. I think it's the complete package. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's a must try. Now, as far as your best status effects builds and all that out there, obviously Eclipse Protocol takes the cake for that. But this is a good alternative, so try it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And, I, I mean, that's about it. It's really easy. These skill builds are really easy to go through. I mean, you have your skills, you put the build together, and bada-bing, bada-boom, you're done. Now, looking at the stats, this is for the Scorpio. 685 for the weapon damage, 20 on the chance, 55 damage, 65 headshot. Don't forget about the armor and damage targets at cover. Looking at the offensive tab, we're at 22% all weapons damage with 30% shotgun. So every time I'm starting off with the Scorpio, we're at 52% damage bonus total. Now, looking at the gear talents, we are running Creeping Death, Glass Cannon, and Toxic Delivery. Remember that Glass Cannon amplifies all damage, the Creeping Death spreads the status effects, and the Toxic Delivery does damage over time with the status effects. Now, the defensive tab, we're at 726k armor, 339k health, and 10% on that explosive resistance. We have 20% hazard, but that's because we are using that vile mask with the max hazard. But the rest of it is due to my watch level. So here's your disclaimer for all my build videos. I am watch level, boop ba doo 3,863. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1000 and you copy and paste my build, you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000 and you copy and paste my build, some of these boxes will not be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste, some of your numbers might be lower. It's okay. This is still a really fun build to use. Just remember, Eclipse Protocol is a little more fun in my opinion. I, I love Eclipse Protocol. Do that with Creeping Death and Vial and mwah, voila. But this is a great alternative, and that's what you guys wanted. You requested an alternative to Eclipse Protocol. But all right, everyone, that is it. I hope you enjoy the build. Take care. Have a good one. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.